this week you ain't never had a podcast like this. Welcome to Let's Play, everybody. Joining us this week, it's Sorg. Sorg, what'd you play this week? I got my Angry Birds on, playing the Star Wars 2, and also excited for the uh, Angry Birds Kart Racer coming up in December. Cool. Yes. I heard good things about it so they, far. They are my Pokemons. <laughs> Pokemon. Also joining us, Chachi. Chachi, what'd you play this week? Uh, believe it or not, I played absolutely nothing. Whoa! Wow. I sat down to play uh, GTA several times throughout the week, and any time I would finish any type of mission or do anything that required saving, I would get kicked out. Oh, well, you did play then. Um, attempts. No. Attempted to play. And so, um, I, every time that happened, I would get pissed off, and uh, then uh, shut it off and watch Netflix. Now you said this is, um, and this is in the regular game too, not just online, right? Yeah, um, any game mode. Uh, thanks to the last update, if you do not have a newer thumb drive or hard drive, you cannot play. That's messed up. Wow. Mm. That's really Hopefully messed up. Hopefully Rockstar can get a fix for that, because that's, that's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and quick, because, I mean, God, you paid for this game. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. so, so, yeah, I'm pretty much uh, screwed on that front. So, um, Riz, what did you play this week? On a well, happier note, <laughs> I I have been playing GTA Five online. Uh, I just got to uh, Trevor, and if you're thinking he's even crazier in GTA Online, you are correct. <laughs> uh, but also, I will get into this game later tonight. It's called The Wolf Among Us. I posted it on on the uh, on the insert coin to begin dot com. Uh, if you have if you have a chance, it's I want to say it's better than the Telltale game for uh, Walking Dead. Is this oh, wow. is, is this an original? Well, we'll get into it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It, we have more on that later. So sorry. Um. Anything? Did you play anything else? Oh, I've also I also played on my Android phone. Uh, game uh, I like to, a game that's called the giant boulder of death <laughs> okay <laughs> and 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 can you guess what it's about a giant boulder who yes. happens to bring death yes <laughs> right, and what do I of win? course it's it's it, it's brought to us by the same guys who make robot unicorn attack Oh wow! So you know it's going to be games. of, oh, of nice. course it is. <laughs> Bobby, what yes. have you been playing? I played this week Avengers Alliance. Of course, I got Black Bolt. Um, I was limited on Simpsons Tapped Out because they broke the game with their stupid ghosts and haunted Halloween theme. Um, I played a little bit of Animal Crossing. Um, a lot of GTA 5. Um, I really didn't play online too much. I just played mainly trying to finish the storyline of the game. And I got Pokemon X on Saturday. Didn't open it till Sunday and already have seven hours invested into it. Nice. <laughs> so, yeah. But we'll get to that a little bit more later, too. Um, all right, um, did anybody play the challenge this week? I don't have to. Here's the thing. I don't have to play the challenge mm -hmm. to remember how good that game was. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's very yeah, fond it, memories. I, I I went and grabbed the cartridge. It was like, ah, oh, I don't have a chance to hooked up. It, if you didn't know what the challenge was this week, it was Aladdin for Sega. And for Lean. Sega Genesis. The true Aladdin, by the way. Yes. Yeah. The, 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 the elite Aladdin. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a good alliteration. Do you guys think it still holds up compared to like what it was back in the day? Yes, it I, holds I up it more. Does. I think it holds up more now because it kind of looks newer, mm -hmm. kind of. Yeah, it's, it's it 
it's a classic platformer, you know? Yeah, it's, 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 everything was so smooth. That's the thing that really got me was how smooth everything was. Uh, it, mm-hmm. it, 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 especially versus, the, like we said, the Super Nintendo version. Like, it looked like any other kind of platformer graphics-wise, right? Mm-hmm. But we, yeah, hopefully we get into here. It just... And, you know, actually, now that I, re- I recall, before I had the Genesis version, uh, I had a demo for this game <laughs> on the PC. Hmm. I am like, wow, this exists. I found it on, like, one of those 1,001 video games on one CD for $10 they used to sell. That was all shareware and demos and crap. Who um, was playing the video? It played it a lot better than I did, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a walkthrough or something that we're showing yeah. here. Um, but yeah, it's yeah, I know I, I took a lot of time getting through all that kind of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this was the game, like even before I had a Genesis, this was the game that I always went to because they always had the, the console set up. You know, they do that less so today, I feel, especially in Walmarts and stuff. But they always had the console set up and land was one of the games. And that was the one, the one I went to, you know, it seemed like all the time. Um, it was probably one of their big selling points mm-hmm. for the for the Sega. And, and that it seemed, Sonic. And it seemed like that was and I, and I remember like some of the background for this was they used cells from the movie. Like they, it was the same like animation style mm-hmm. and they just transposed it over into 16 bit colors. Which you think about it, you know, if you go true cartoon and it feels like everybody reinvents the wheel when you go see like Lion King video games and stuff, right? Um, they've remade it as pixely 3d shaded something or others where they should just go flat sell 2d you know right into it and i wonder what is it about the genesis where this worked because it seemed like the super nintendo was where you had more of the more colorful games because they had a bigger color palette i remember um so what was it about this game that the genesis could pull off that it that it couldn't was it the blast processing may have been because so that's my answer to everything. Because really, if you think when, back, didn't didn't you think like anytime I saw ne- you know photos next to each other in a Game Pro magazine of of Genesis and Super Nintendo, it always seemed like the uh, more fuzzy, darker colored version of it was the Sega Genesis version, right? Anybody, mm-hmm. You saw that when, too. When I was a, when I was a kid, I didn't really go to the oh my god, this is blast processing. I went to this as this is a great looking game. I'm going to play mm-hmm. it because it's Aladdin and it's Disney. But I can see where you're saying the technical side sword. Mm-hmm. But to me, it is a good game. Mm-hmm. And that's what draw, drew us, the, the kitties, as I want to call myself, uh, went towards that game. Yeah. My. I didn't really care about the ins and outs of the video game itself. It was Aladdin, and it was, it was a, good to play. It was it looks good, good and I mean, it, 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 and the big thing with and I still have this. Uh, I, I've spoken about this before. Like anytime with like a Call of Duty game, like I you know if a map isn't designed well and I can tell I'm inside a fence, you know. Mm-hmm. This is one of those games that, much like Sonic the Hedgehog, it looked like you could go anywhere. You know, you didn't look like stuff was there just to be an obstacle for me to jump over. It looked, it felt like living, breathing. This is a town. This is here, and it's just rather convenient that this is the thing that helps me bounce up to the next level, right? Yeah, like one before, of the weapons. Mm-hmm. Before weapons open the world, was this was there. our open world. It was. It was. It, it gave you that open feeling. That that that. Um, it's it just good design. I guess you can say it was a brand new world. Oh no, whole, new, whole new world. Uh, you messed it up. <laughs> I messed it up. Uh, so, moving on. Aladdin. Just uh, looking at it, I think it holds up. Yeah. yeah. Next week's just challenge at is the going game. To be... It holds up to what it was. Mm-hmm. Uh, next week's challenge is going to be Darkwing Duck. So I'm looking forward to that one. What What are your memories of Darkwing Duck? I think that's one I never got around to, but I always loved the Disney Capcom games. Did you watch the show as a kid? Uh, sparingly. My my little cousin was always into it. That was my favorite Disney cartoon, was Darkwing Duck. Mm-hmm. Just because of the villains, like the Liquidator and all them. So I'm looking forward to it. That'll be a fun challenge. I was always a fan because it had Launchpad McQuack from, from DuckTales, and I watched every yeah. episode of DuckTales. <laughs> 
So, all right, uh, moving on to things we should be made aware of. Um, this week, uh, the new releases are um, Capella's African Adventure, another hunting game from Cabela. Nice. Um, <laughs> are we talking uh, about Wipeout, this? Wipeout, <laughs> create, create, and Crash, which uh, if you played the first Wipeout game and the second Wipeout game, they're pretty much the same thing. But I think you can actually create your own uh, obstacle course, which is kind of cool. Um, that should be different, I guess. Um, also, the demo for Lego Marvel Super Heroes came out this week Ooh. on uh, Xbox, and I, I'm not sure about PlayStation, probably, um, but you might want to check that out if you're a fan of that kind of stuff. And The Wolf Among Us, which we will get to later, and uh, Riz is going to talk about that, coming Episode up in our one segment. Yes. So. Can I throw, you threw me for a second, because you mentioned Wipeout, and I keep forgetting that this is the new game show, Wipeout. Yeah, and, yeah. And you remember, oh, yeah, not, not do you remember the old Wipeout? The other, yeah. I, this yeah. is one of those games that got me freaking into, like, the future Sony PlayStation kind of games. It was yeah. a futuristic hover car kind of racer. Apparently, I can't find anything but the opening video here. Uh, but yeah, it was always ridiculous. But it was the first thing that, like, you're like, yes, that, this should be a this should be one of our plays. The, one w- week. Yeah, the, the the Wipeout games are very good. Yeah, so that may be a future challenge. Throw that out there. Here, so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's the unfortunately the game show. <laughs> <laughs> no other things were really released this week. <laughs> yeah, no, it was, it was a slow video game. When week. you start with yeah. Cabela's big ha- big game hunter, you know <laughs> yeah. you're in trouble. Actually, there African was one more release. There, well, there was one for a three three DS, but I can't remember what it That's was. It's like saying there, a new My Little Pony movies in the theaters this weekend. Oh wow! Oh, it is. <laughs> Anyways. There was another game that I don't want anything to do with. It was uh, uh, Zumba <laughs> for Connect. <laughs> do you? Can you picture this guy doing Zumba? Yes, no. I can. Yes, I can. I watched that, Zumba. That is before. our next challenge. <laughs> the challenge this week is Zumba for Bob Connect. Even though Zumba. none of us have a Connect. And if not, just it. do Zumba. Just make sure <laughs> the do. webcam's on. Oh, Chachi has a connect. Chachi, do you want to be our demo guy for uh, Zumba? No, absolutely okay. not. <laughs> actually, actually, I borrowed it. He never took it back, and I don't have the connector for my older Xbox <laughs> to even use it. <laughs> oh my! All right, um, moving on to the, our next thing. Um, we actually have a special guest for this segment. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, a little bit about what happened in New York Comic Con this week uh, with, the, with the various video game things. Um, joining us is Matt Mike. How you doing, Matt Mike? How you doing, Bobby? I'm doing pretty fantastic. good. Pretty good. Uh, you were actually at New York Comic Con this week, so uh, give us a little bit of intel about some of the games that are coming up. Well, apparently Capella has a new big game hunter. Game. Oh, what? It was there. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. I couldn't help myself. Um, <laughs> actually, one one uh, thing that I'm pretty sure you guys will be interested in. They had a whole huge South Park display. Oh, oh nice. no! I think I did oh, see yeah. a picture of that. And they showed off um, the Stick of Truth gameplay footage. Does it look any different than it, other it, South Park games? It, it's an RPG, mm-hmm. so it looks really kind of cool. It looks like, like a show, you, basically. Well, I mean, I'm not an RPG guy except for Pokemon, if you consider that an RPG. Mm-hmm. But it. The detail that they put into the backgrounds and everything it really, really looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> and I may give it a Gamefly rental to see if I like it. It looked that, better than the Family Guy game I played recently, the um, the time jumping one. That was horrible. Yeah, the multiverse. Yeah, yeah, that yeah was the terrible. multiverse one was horrible. But this one looked really good. It street it um, worked very seamlessly from cutscenes to gameplay. Mm-hmm. And there are a lot of things that you could actually like interact with in the backgrounds and everything, which was nice. Mm-hmm. Like, and one of the main characters, I forget who he is actually in the show, but his long distance weapon for enemies is Cartman. Cartman? No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't Cartman. I think it, it looked like it was Stan, but he didn't Stan. talk at all. So it might be like Craig or something like that. Mm-hmm. I wasn't. I wasn't positive as it was, but was he, was he in blue? They're all in their, like, um, elfish costumes. So you oh, know, okay. Uh, so they look different. Yeah. Well, there, there's a I new mean, character I'm that assuming you are. it was Stan. So it could have been that character. 
Like, you're the yeah. new kid in town. Oh, actually, that's probably who it is, then. Yeah. That's oh, probably yeah. who it is, then. Because he didn't talk at all, so I'm like, yeah. without talking, I don't know who this character is. Yeah, but I think that's supposed was, to be you, like, your representation. Wait, is Randy a playable a character? I believe he is eventually. Okay, I'm, I might just play as him for... <laughs> If, if, if anybody seen saw the uh, Minecraft episode, uh, that was a brilliant episode of South Park. Well, I, I gotta say, like I have not been that the hugest fan of South Park recently, but the gameplay footage in this was great. Like you can go up and Rochambeau someone for items. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's it was very very creative the way they use it. And Butters is one of the lead characters, so oh, you give me a game where I'm Butters and I have to save Kenny from getting raped. So oh, I'm I'm interested in that game. Oh, yeah, Butters yeah. is always my favorite character. So, and also, I actually got a game when I went to the Marvel booth. They have a new game called Marvel Puzzle Quest. It's mm. loading right now, but Marvel Puzzle Quest. The, um, it's kind of oh, like no. Avengers Alliance meets. Um, oh no! There goes Bobby. Of, any Andy kind Crush? of matchup gem game. Do you oh no, Bobby. Oh, no. Bobby, stay oh, no. away, Bobby. Bobby, I'm, I'm stay fine. I'm, far I'm probably going to stay away game, from Bobby. Bobby, oh, man. Bobby, it's, a, it's free for iOS devices. Bobby, no. I don't have iOS device, so there we go. Oh, there it is. I, I believe, yeah. I believe it's, it's also free for Android. Too. I believe it's yeah. also free for Bob, Android. Bobby, no. Oh, well, no, there it is Bobby for Android right there. Uh, I, I, and I'm going to install it to my device. <laughs> Sorg, no. Sorg, no. Uh, yeah, Sorg, yes. Sorg, yes. yes. No, I don't have an addictive personality that I'm going to spend money on this crap, for one thing. Um, or 180 hours. Marvel should give me some the, money. The that. next lockbox <laughs> character is Loki. Yes. So, yeah. By the way, that is really awesome. I don't care. I don't care if I have to pay money. That is I'm super gonna... awesome that I can go to the website and it starts installing on my Android tablet. Way to go, nice. Google, for that one. Seriously, <laughs> um, that, that that is pretty cool. So, but the game um, is the game is actually a lot of fun. Like I tried it at the booth because I I don't have Avengers Alliance on my iPad because it doesn't work. I'm, mm-hmm. very, I'm very happy about that because it curves the addiction a little bit. Investing, but this game, into it. this this game is a lot of fun because you can get new characters and each character like once you clear a certain number of gems they have special powers and stuff like that so it's actually it's kind of a strategy game too it's not just mixing and matching um different gems how, so it's, a, it's it was a lot of fun to play how big is this game that it says it's going to take 12 minutes to load on here yeah really it's just a puzzle game <laughs> come on marvel there's some good joke. looking puzzles holy crap well, it has, like, a story mode in and everything. Oh. Like, it's attached to the Dark Reign storyline, if anyone's familiar with that. Mm. It's like Norman Osborn making Dark Avengers, basically. That's why they're promoting <laughs> Dark, Dark Reign on the Unlimited app. Yep. That's exactly why they're doing it. Well, I have it now uh, installing on both my uh, uh, Nexus <laughs> and my iPhone right now, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> and right now, it's kind of like a race. Ooh, so. All right, can, which can finish first, the podcast or sorry, download? <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> um, the, the two big things I noticed from Comic-Con this weekend, um, I don't know if you uh, heard about them while you were there. Um, one was the um, Batman Arkham Origins, uh, the voice of the Joker. He actually gave the uh, speech from Long Halloween, I think it was. No, I think it was um, Killing Joke. Oh, yeah, uh, the Killing, killing joke, joke, that's what it was. Um, you do not he fuck sounded with the Batman, man. almost identical to mark hamill so that that's a good thing and the thing of it is is he's a younger joker so it it, it it's okay for him to be a little off on the voice you know because he, he's like just starting out so he um and it, actually what's that he was spot on i think oh he, for, yeah i mean for for mark hamill and that i forget what he, what you said his name was uh, uh troy baker they both sound exactly the same yeah. Well, and if you're not, not familiar with Troy Baker's Mark previous games, oh, yeah. It's, 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 yeah. If you're not familiar with Troy Baker's previous games, he was um, Booker in Bioshock Infinite, and he was Joel in The Last of Us. So you know he's a good voice actor. Mm-hmm. So he's done you this before. You know who else? Two of the best games of all time, probably. 
Um, but yeah, that was one of the big things. And the other one was Trevor swearing at somebody on at Comic Con yes. <laughs> yes. in the GTA panel. Um, if you haven't seen that video, uh, that. check that out too. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, can I just can I just make uh, one small comment? Yeah, go ahead. Don't watch it at work. Yeah, don't watch it at work <laughs> and make sure your volume is down. <laughs> yeah, make, do make sure the make sure. Your whole volume is at like a smidge. <laughs> wow! Le- it's learn funny, but you, if you know Trevor, you know what's gonna happen. Uh, but still, Stephen Og, uh, Stephen Og, right? I think so. Yeah, he will do a lot of things, but but all of those things will be directed towards what he did in GTA Five. <laughs> He's going to be that crazy sidekick or the crazy guy or villain or something. He's going yeah. to get more work in voice acting. Oh, I, that man, I think all of them are. Oh, yeah. Uh, but still, yeah, that almost busted my eardrum when I heard it. <laughs> all work. right. Um, we're going to move on to our next. Oh, actually, we got two things to plug. We're going to plug our extra life. Uh, Game of Thon, we're going to do it November 9th. We did it, guys. Yeah, and we've hit our goal. But that we doesn't mean it. you can stop donating. No, you still donate. Still donate yeah. now. We'll, we'll uh, have the yeah. link up on the thing. Where so. can they do that? At. You can, can you find with it me quick? right now? Well, first of all, uh, well, you know where you can go is go to insertcoinbegin.com. Oh, yeah, yeah. insert and we have a nice com. little meter we that is the, on the side there. There's now a little, a little over widget. the goal of uh, up to five hundred and ten dollars of five hundred. Over five hundred. There you go. So all you have to do while you're there reading your insertcoinbegin.com, just go uh, uh, right there under that first ad thingy is is our goal right above, right above the Facebooks, and uh, you can you can donate right there. These guys are going to be doing crazy crazy 25 hour marathon i want to be there plotting them plotting them you're, maybe i'll jump in on be a game of call of duty or something hours, or? What's we're, we're gonna be uh i'm gonna be i know i'm gonna be live streaming my gameplay on twitch excellent so. excellent and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll have to talk about we'll get something uh worked on for you guys so you guys have mm-hmm. a page we'll, get, we'll find it try to get a hub together for you guys so mm-hmm. those of you that are streaming or or anything like that we'll, we'll put that on and hopefully i can get mm-hmm. maybe we'll put it over here on live.sorgatronmedia.com as well and, and if you we want. can also put the uh, hangouts on there too yeah so yeah. that'll be yeah. fun so again yeah, uh, uh I would personally like to thank everybody who did donate to us. Yeah, definitely. Uh, first of all, with Alex, who who isn't going to be doing the twenty four hour game thing with well, us, twenty five hours. He, he well, he still can if he wants. Mm-hmm. But he did uh, donate his time and effort to make shirts for. Uh, well, well, he donated his time for the make shirts. I'm not. I think there was two that were sold. So yeah. thank you to those two people who, who bought them, and thank you for Alex for making those shirts. Yeah. Uh, thank you for everybody, who, like I said, who donated. Thank you to the guys who are on Team Insert Coin to begin. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bobby, Julie, myself, Cat, and we'll and and Alex. When we'll probably see you November ninth. Yeah. yeah, it'll be a good. We're time. doing it a week after everybody else because mm-hmm. our schedules didn't really connect. So. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So we can actually watch the board the first, oh, and then no. the sword. Next sword. You guys, that's the that's where I have to drive like freaking three hours to get to a show. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, so I'm going to see even on, less sword. of it. Come on, Zor. It's like two oh, shows sword. that night. Chachi's working too. Sorry, you know on. you want to do it. I want to do it, yes, but I have contracts. Take, damn it. Just, well, <laughs> sword, you just go. play iOS games. Then. Just buy house games. There you go. Just make Chachi go. Live, live, live stream you playing. Fatal I can't cover hours. two shows at once. No, yes, Chachi. <laughs> Not, and especially if one's three hours away. <laughs> okay, it might be an hour and a half. I don't know how far away Clearfield is anymore. Um, yeah. Uh, no, but seriously, great job and still please donate and everything. Um, it's actual life and right there on the site. Yeah. All right, uh, so we're going to move into our news segment. Um, uh, one quick thing before we start the news, um, there was breaking news earlier that Watch Dogs was pushed back to 2014. Boo. Uh, we really don't know much about why it was pushed back or anything yet, so that story is still breaking. Hopefully to make it awesomer. 
Yeah, I, I think that's what they're doing. The, the one guy said that the sound of the game sounds like amazing. He said it's like the most technically amazing sound track and because everybody that likes that sound in the game so they're gonna no, nobody wants up the sound. to play the game because they want to listen to sound well no but i mean like Just the release sound the damn of, like, game of the things that are happening in the city and stuff like that he said it's like immersive so they have don't, a huge booth set up for watch dogs too in new york like a huge booth oh there was no it. booths no, it was just, like, a huge, like, display of it. I I don't think there are any playable demos of it, but a lot Probably of videos... Probably too early if they like pushed that. it back. You know what this sadly reminds me of? I hope it's not true. <laughs> oh, come on. GTA was delayed. <laughs> GTA was delayed. <laughs> Games get delayed, and it means that they're going to be better. So Hopefully. 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 Yeah. I want to see the Young Justice game out, damn it. Now, when they move studios, I think you start to work. Yeah. Yeah. Looking at you, GTA, or uh, WWE. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, all right. Um, Duke Nukem uh, my Brother Sword oh. wrote a column on um, comparing GTA to Saints Row. Mm-hmm. Um, Riz, since you and I have played both games, I don't know if anybody else has. Uh, Chachi, did you play Saints Row at all? No, I didn't. You didn't? Okay. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about the comparisons between the two. Which one did you prefer... Two uh, differently. Uh, let me jump in there. Good. Two different games. Yeah, I agree. Both awesome. In their I would own give, way. I would give a little more to GTA though. Well, yeah, GTA is going to win nine. Well, nine out of ten <laughs> times. Yeah. Uh, but the fun. You you have fun in both games. Hmm. Both games have good storylines. Only GTA is, uh, like we said, a lot better. Uh, you can customize your character in the main missions for uh, Saints Row, but you can't do yeah. it in GTA, which is okay. Um, you can give him haircuts. Well, yeah, but but you're also the president fighting aliens, and yeah. and well, well, again, spoiler alert: uh, there are aliens. In GTA Five, you just gotta look for them. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, they're they're not really. The only similarities that they have is the fact that the setting is kind of the same because it's an open world in a big city. Uh, G, uh, Saints Row is kind of more compact though, mm-hmm. and there's a lot more stuff in that area than the large scale of GTA five, but it's still good. And I would and say still... that Saints Row is a little more over the top wacky than oh, GTA. Yeah. GTA is wacky, but it's not, it's grounded wacky. Yeah. I, I, I remember, uh, killing a bunch of professor Genki, who is a giant cat mm-hmm. multiple times. And GTA doesn't have superpowers. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I, I had fun with superpowers in Saints Row 4. Oh, yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I'm... Four? It was great. Yeah, four, yeah. I, I'm, now you're confusing me with numbers. Four and five. <laughs> four and five. Uh, but, yeah, and the conversation between characters are both equally awesome as well. Uh, yeah. With, I remember with Pierce... And the president. <laughs> That's weird to say. But those two singing in the car while driving never gets old. Uh, and with, you know, Trevor and Michael and shit. The other, the other guy. Franklin. Um, Franklin, thank you. Uh, their conversations go deeper, which is kind of cool. Uh, so either way, it's fun. Both games are fun. Pick up both games if you have the money. And and if you think there's a difference between both games, if you think there's if you think one's the sim- similar to the other one or if there's some correlation between the two, go ahead comment down below on insertcointobegin.com that article that Brother Sword posted uh, and we can start a conversation. Mhm. Yeah, and you can get Matt's take on what he thinks of both games too. Mm-hmm. So all right. 
Uh, moving on, I, on the other hand, have been logged into Pokemon for the last uh, couple hours, like I said, around seven or eight hours since Saturday. Um, I picked Froki as my main starter Pokemon. Cool. Um, and spoiler alert, a little later in the game, you get a second starter Pokemon, uh, one of the originals. You can pick out of those three. Um, I have, to date, I have caught a lot of Pokemon. <laughs> I already have the first box filled, working on the second box. Um, Are you a Pokemon team, hoarder? I am a Pokemon hoarder. I'm trying to catch them all. That's the object of the game. It says you got to catch they, them all. That's so what I'm they listening. want you to think. No, the the object of the game is to just ride around and ride on all that. That's what I thought it was. <laughs> but um, the the six I have right now in, as my group are Pikachu, Frogadier, which is the leveled up Froakie. Uh, I have Snorlax. Charmeleon, Combuskin, which I got as a free gift, the, the fiery little chick thing. Um, they give you that free. And I got uh, Beedrill, which I leveled up at the Pokemon uh, daycare center. <laughs> uh, yeah. Is it? Can I? I'm sorry. Is it demasculating yes. to talk about Pokemon? <laughs> a little bit. No. No way. No. I play no. Pokemon at, court, at New York I mean, It's a little bit kid... It's a very kid-friendly game, but it, at, at its core, it's a really, really good RPG. Mm-hmm. So, so didn't we spend the whole last episode talking about Pokemon Snap? It's true. That's true. That's, that's true. true. Yeah. But Throwing apples and, and, at Pokemon. You know, kind of in addition, and now I'm thinking about it, I bet they were all playing this. Uh, I, when I was doing the behind-the-scenes thing at Scarehouse the other night that we, we played over on Awesome Cast, mm-hmm. um, I saw no less than three DSs, uh, like, presumably three <laughs> DSs amongst the crew. All I saw like zombies playing 3DS, you know, <laughs> like before they go down to do their thing. And, and, and I bet they were all playing Pokemon, the new Pokemon. Probably, probably. So, but, Are you uh, sure there weren't some two DSs in there, sort? I have no idea. <laughs> I honestly have no idea. No, there were Piece, hinges. There were hinges. Of cake. <laughs> so, but yeah, um, um, it's not demasculating at all. <laughs> and also, um, Kakuna does look like a, a yeah, he looks a like a penis. phallic penis. <laughs> hmm. He really does. But, and apparently, but, you can pet your Pokemon in this one. Yeah, yeah. yeah they made people a lot of have already taken. Awkward screenshots yeah, of yeah. the Pokemon. That My favorite Pokemon. one had to be uh, Machoke. Yeah, yeah the, Machoke the, the cow with, one. Well, tickling his balls is not really cool. <laughs> what? I don't know. <laughs> he, he, he seemed to enjoy it. That's well, all I'm saying. Well, the, the, there's a cross between Nintendogs and Pokemon now where you can actually pet your Pokemon and like feed them stuff like and take care of them to make them more friendly that to you. That sounds dirty. Yeah. Hey guys, it is. Marvel it Puzzle is Quest downloaded. Bit. If you want it to be, which but, one? Um, which on which one? Oh, you're oh on, on my iPhone. Downloaded. On the iPhone, I don't know. I have to check. Oh, it's on. It's on the tablet as well. Fantastic! Oh. Here we go. It's now loading. we know Sword's gonna be playing this week. <laughs> there you go. You guys but, are on your own for the rest of the show. <laughs> but, <laughs> The, the graphics are much improved, like the fight animation, stuff like that. Um, Snorlax actually looks animated when he does one of his moves, uh, which when is kind of cool. It looks like straight out of the cartoon. Um, but yeah, I, yeah, I'm the, enjoying my time so far. I'll keep you guys updated as I go along, much like I have been in uh, Animal Crossing. I'm still still in the uh, Black Market Apple sales. I'm still doing that. So. And I got to try to do both you. at the same time. I got to experience the mega evolution of Mewtwo. Mm-hmm. Oh that, no! Yeah, it's fun. What? <sighs> yeah, mega evolution. I'm waiting for my Charizard to get mega evolved. <laughs> All right, can we talk about something I understand yeah. now? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I played the new Sonic game for Wii behind. U. I'm just gonna play the 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 person that representing the part of the audience that is not into Pokemon. I bet you Sorry. Sword and if I'm not throwing like apples at and, it. And, What's that? Who, who's talking? Go ahead. Oh, I said I bet you Chachi and Sword feel like Kirk Cameron and Left Behind. <laughs> nah. If I'm not throwing apples or is not involved in a mini game, mini game, I'm yeah. not interested. <laughs> All right, um, we're gonna move on to um, the Wolf Among Us, which is uh, probably the biggest game released this week, unless you count uh, that uh, hunting game, Cabela. <laughs> Cabela's. Uh, African Nothing's Adventures. gonna be Cabela. But um. <laughs> Do you want to tell us a little bit about the uh, the Wolf Among Us, Riz? Um, have any of you played any of the Telltale games 
well, the Telltale version of uh, The Walking Dead. Yep. All right. So it's basically put on another uh, comic book. So in this one, it is Fable, it's called. And you are Detective Wolf. And you're going around the, the place and you have to find out who done it, who killed this person here. And then you have to go through the list of the woodsman, Beast, Beauty, and other people around him, around the, the fable land. Uh, and as you can he- see by, my, by the words I just said, they're all fairy tales. Fables is actually a really good book. I've read a few um, mm-hmm. uh, trades of a buddy of mine's lately borrow. It's all about the world of fairy tale land. Yeah, and it is basically just your, it's basically choose your own adventure. If you so want to like go a, one way, hmm? so it's like a mix of Once Upon a Time and L.A. Noir. Kind of. Why? Why <laughs> would you say that? I knew that was going to get you because you hate why, L.A. Noir. Why would you say why? Because <laughs> it's a detective story. Actually, I did feel like L.A. Noir a little bit in the yeah, beginning. Yeah, see, because because there was a point in the game, like in the beginning of the game. Where you just randomly picked up a, um, a set of matches. See, you have to examine things. Mm-hmm. That's what a detective and, does. And and there's also one part where you have to hang up a phone. Okay. And uh, but but still, uh, this game, I, I like it because it it reminds me of a more choiceable. Mass Effect game, without the shooting and the zo- and the killing and everything else that you have to do. Uh, there was a part in the fight with the woodsman where you have to do like turn-based stuff, like press B for blocking and do all this stuff. And it got a little repetitive at times, but and at sometimes when I pressed the wrong button, it still worked. So I don't know, but still so the the first one was called Faith, um, and just like the uh, Walking Dead series, they do, they will go through each. There's I think there's five chapters. It goes one through five, and I already purchased the season pass, so I'm gonna get all of them, and I'll I'll bring those I'll bring what my thoughts to you at insertcointobegin.com. Cool. Looking forward to that. Um, how much was the uh, season pass? The season pass was fifteen bucks. That's not bad. Not bad. And and the game itself is five bucks. Wow. The graphics so you look get really cel shaded and like comic booky. That's, that's yeah, cool. the, the, the the graphics are pretty much the same as you would expect a Telltale game to be. If you have played um, the uh, Walking Dead, it's pretty much the same graphic style and it looks amazing Uh, so you pick that up and by the way you turn into a wolf somewhere down the line nice just point that out there I would hope if your name is Detective Wolf then oh yeah (laughs) yeah where are wolf oh and and the first I forgot to tell you you get to talk to a toad nice a British toad that is very angry <laughs> that you crushed his car. Did he oh. tell you the princess was in our castle? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not that kind of toad. Not that, Not that toad. It, it's worth asking. <laughs> oh, and your roommate okay. with a, your your roommate is with a pig. All right. Well, we're gonna uh, we're gonna move into our boss battle question. Um, since this is a new game. Uh, we want to know how I want to know how you guys find out about new games that are coming out. Like, how, how do you find um, out about them? Like, what what sites? Um, word of mouth. Insert coin to begin dot com. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Honestly, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it used to be. You um, have to go to insert coin to begin dot com. I mean, I, I, you guys kind of have become my source. You know, a being on the show and everything. Mm-hmm. Like, you guys are like I would never have heard of Wolf Among Us or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Um, Thank you, Sword. But I mean, but before that, before we, I had this kind of circle with you guys. Um, geez, I can't even think what sites I follow. I mean, I mean, 
Like I used to follow like GameSpy back in the day. Mm-hmm. I, I, go to IG, I, I go to IGN sometimes. IGN's but... supposed to be good, yeah. But usually it's like, um, honestly, um, most of the game news I hear about outside of this circle is from The Verge. And they're not mm-hmm. typically video games, but they have kind of a sister site called Polygon that's very, very good. And also mm-hmm. I read uh, like Penny Arcade and Control Delete and see what games they're talking about uh, as I read through the comics. So I, I think that's our, my, my main sources other than just people talking about stuff coming out or just checking in whenever E3 comes around. All right, um, the, the reason why I picked up this game, I didn't look at it on Verge. I didn't look at it with uh, Polygon or Kotaku or anything like that. Mm-hmm. What I did was I follow a couple of guys who do um, pretty much Let's Plays with commentary over it. Mm-hmm. And... I've I watched the first ep- the first episode of the the, the Wolf Among oh, the, not the first episode the first part of their let's play mm-hmm. and as soon as they were done with that I stopped it and I bought it so wow. they're they're and I never I I haven't looked at their the rest of their gameplay yet uh, so it it is. Just like that, I want to get that game just to have that same experience and see what he's experiencing or she's experiencing. There's something like that. It's 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 the word of mouth that YouTube is mm-hmm. that makes me want to play the games it's awesome. that are out there. Chachi, where so, do you hear about new stuff? Uh, mainly uh, Kotaku or Machinima or IGN. Um, I have... And we, as writers on the site, we have access to um, Games Press that comes to our email daily. Um, That's really good at telling us when uh, games are coming out or who announced what type of game. So it's just a collection of crap on the Internet. Bobby? I I, I use uh, Kotaku, uh, IGN, Game Informer is another good one. Um, those are the three I mainly stick to. Okay. Mike, what do you use? Uh, IGN mainly, but because I have a Gamefly account, I do get the Game Informer magazine. Oh, that's on so, Gamefly now, too. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, it, it comes with my Gamefly subscription, so I get it once a month. And wow. that's where I saw the uh, stuff about the Arkham Origins and everything like that. So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> cool. All right, well, I think that's going to do it for us this week. Uh, you can go online and read all the stories we were talking about tonight on insertcointobegin.com. You can follow us on Twitter at insertcointb. And our challenge for next week is Darkwing Duck for NES. So uh, uh, we are the terror that flaps in the night. Game over. I like that. Was that. Bad. I like, <laughs> that no, was, no, that was great. I like that.